Hey everyone. Today I'm looking at uh, using ChatGPT and the Azure OpenAI Studio. I'm going to try to try to see how much it understands uh, supply chain management. So what I've got here is I've got I've got the Studio open, and I'm going to uh, teach it how to uh, make cookies, and then we'll see what see what comes out of this. So this should be a really fun exercise. <clears throat> now before I start, I'm going to prime the from the system with a couple of a couple of items, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say that this uh, chatbot's and a bakery chatbot. He does it works on planning and on the bakery. Then also it schedules equipment in the bakery. They make uh, various um, edible delights, including cookies. Then I'm going to say uh, that when I go out later on and perform costing, I want to do it as a single batch. And then I want it to be as concise as possible. So I'm just going to save these changes. So this is, just gives the ground rules for how the, the bot is going to be working. So now what I'm going to do is, so let's make some sugar cookies. <clears throat> now, what I want to do is I want to tell it how to make the sugar cookies. So I'm just going to paste in here the ingredients. So there's um, there's a cup of butter, a cup of granulated sugar, some vanilla extract, and so forth. So that, that sort of comes up with what, what it, it had before. It's probably using the same recipe that I've got. But I just want to be a little bit uh, more, uh, more direct. Now, also what we need to do, I want to tell it how we make the sugar cookies. So I'm going to uh, go out and uh, specify what the steps are, and it's going to summarize some of this information for me. So it's, um, it's improvising a little bit, but we'll just ignore that for now. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take this to the next level. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, or before I do that, I could say, how long does it take to make a batch of cookies. So it's, it's going out and it's telling me that uh, there's five, five minutes of mixing, three minutes of rolling, cutting, 20 minutes in the oven, and 10 minutes of cooling, and then five minutes of packing. So what is the total time? And it's like 36 minutes to make. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add in some more information here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the product costs. So I've told it that uh, how much a, a pound of butter is, how much the sugar is, and then also I'm giving it some conversions because I'm buying by the pound, but I'm using it by the cup. So a cup of butter is two, st is two sticks of butter, which is which is um, half the uh, the uh, pound of butter. And it's going out and calculating all this. So the total cost for the batch is going to be $4.88. Now, I'm going to add some more information here. And uh, I'm going to tell it that we when we do a batch, it's 36 cookies, and we're going to... Uh, package those and each box that goes into costs a dollar. So there's going to be an additional uh, cost associated with this. Then I could show, say show all costs as a table. And we can start getting some more information here. So we've got ingredients, we've got all the items, and we've got the total cost and the packaging supplies. So the packaging supplies is increasing the cost quite a bit. Now, what I can do now is I'm going to tell it some other information. I'm going to say that we've actually got two mixers and two ovens. That's, uh, that's not as important right now, but then what I'm also going to say is that before, before doing anything here, then I need to preheat the oven. And that's going to take 10 minutes. So now what that's going to do is that's going to add, <clears throat> add some more time to the mixing and the cooking. Now, 
I'm going to give it some more information. And I'm going to say that based on the energy usage, then an oven costs around about 20 cents per hour to run and a mixer costs around about 15 cents per hour. So that's adding overhead costs. So now what it's saying is there's additional cost here. And to run this, then it's around about 8 cents and uh, uh, another 7.5 cents for this uh, increasing the total costs. Now, if I go out and add some more information here, then what I can do is I can uh, say that uh, the uh, uh, cooking and so forth is done by a baker and a packer. And the baker costs $20 an hour and a packer costs $10 an hour. So now it's going out and we've got additional costs. If you notice here that it's calculated that it's going to take half an hour, so that's $10, and it's going to take 0.7 hours of the packer to pack up three items. So that's going to be $1.67. So now our total cost is getting up there to um, $19.71 per batch. But I could say how much is this per package? And then there's three per pack, so that takes the cost per package down to $6.75. Now, the standard rate for uh, baking is, uh, or the standard markup on baking, I searched this, I binged this, and it's actually 300%. So let's add a sales markup. We've got our all of our costs, <clears throat> and then we are creating a markup. So now what it's doing is if this is a 300% markup, then that means that we're going to uh, sell our premium cookies for $26.28 uh, cents per box of 12. Now I could say much per cookie is this. <laughs> and it's going to go out and it's going to say that each cookie is now costing $2.19. Now, if I want to, I'm going to add some more constraints in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that uh, within an, a mixer, you can actually make uh, four batches at the same time. And on a, in an oven, I can put eight trays in, or eight batches into the oven at the same time because I've got industrial um, uh, ovens and mixers. So now what I can say is um, how long will it take to make one batch? And if this is right, then it's going to take uh, 0.92 hours, so ne nearly an hour. We could say how long does it take to make four batches? And this should be similar because we're mixing and baking all at the same time. So the, as we go through, then where's the total time? So the total time is just a little bit longer, but also I think that was because we, there's more time spent on the cutting out of the uh, cookies and also the, uh, some, some other items. But what I can do is say, what is the unit cost per batch if I make? one batch. And then, so that's going to say that the unit cost for all of that is $28.30. But I can say, what is the cost if I make four batches? So I should be able to use the same mixer and the same oven for this, and it should go out and um, calculate that that out for me. So it's it's just working the way, and I may I may have to let me just do this, just refresh this and try that once more. Down to the bottom. Let me ask this once more. So it's going to calculate the cost. So the 
one batch is $28.30 per batch. And uh, so it's $28.30 to make one batch. But if I make four batches, then it's going out and saying that I've got, it'll cost 20 cents per batch. So going out and creating more inventory, uh, more batches at once is a good idea. Now, what I'll do now is I'll, let's try to get a little bit more clever. So what I'm telling it now is I'm saying, this is our current inventory. So we've got our five pounds of butter, some sugar and so forth. Now, I could say, how many can we make based off our current inventory? And so it's going to say that, uh, it uh, should say, well, based off this, if we've got the lowest common denominator, then we can only make three three batches here. So I could say, um, um, I could say, how much inventory would it take to make ten? Uh, let's say ten batches or uh, twenty batches. So now it's going, it's doing the roll up and it will tell me that I need um, uh, approximately 20 pounds of sugar and so forth. And uh, then here's the summary. And what I can say is how much would I need to buy to have enough inventory. So it's now telling me what my shortfall is here in the uh, in the view. So we're seeing, I'll scroll down to the bottom, that it's giving me a list of everything that I need to buy uh, in order to do that. Now, I could, when I go out and buy these from a vendor, I have minimum order quantities. I've got to order by the package. So what I'm saying is that um, I have to buy a case of butter and it's 10 pounds. And then I have to buy one case of sugar, which is eight bags. So then it's going out and it's telling me based on these min, uh, minimum order quantities, how much I need to buy. So I could say, let's say, what if I needed a purchase order? So here it's going out and it's creating a purchase order for me for the uh, for the items, it's uh, going out and showing me the um, order quantity that I've got, how many cases I've got, and then summarizing this. So what this has done is I've gone out and started querying and I taught it how to go out and uh, bake cookies. And then I added more and more constraints on it, including inventory levels and quantities and unit of measure conversions and all of these things in here and then uh, tried to make more cookies than I have. And it told, it'll told it tell me how much I need to go out and purchase. And then from this purchase order, then I could go out and I could actually receive it in and then start making the cookies with the inventory that I've got. So all of this is done through ChatGPT, just through those queries. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I'd share it with everybody just to just get everyone's thought and really show the power of what we're, what we're working with now. So hope this is interesting. And if you like this, then subscribe or like or both and uh, watch out for more content.